I'm a car expert. And I simply am not. And today we're gonna to be reviewing the 2023 Honda Civic. Now, I honestly wasn't expecting this car to look so sleek and sporty. Yeah, Honda redesigned this car in 2022, so it's a relatively new design, new look for a car that's been around since 1972. I used to drive a 2004 Honda Civic, but it did not look as cool as this one. Yeah, this one gets 34 miles per gallon combined, which is around what your 2004 Honda got, but honestly, not by much. Well, it sounds like they do make them like they used to. Exactly, and that's why Honda has so much long-term success. I mean, the Civic's four-cylinder, 180 horsepower engine, it's not gonna knock your socks off, but it'll get you where you need to go for many years down the line. Well, I love the exterior, Let's check out the inside. First off, I love how clean this design is. Yeah, the mesh is actually a really great addition to the car and it helps hide the unsightly air vents. And what about this touch screen thing? Does it have Bluetooth? Yeah, it certainly does. It also has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capabilities. So your smartphone is gonna seamlessly connect it. All right, well, why is it so high up on the dash? Yeah, that's a purposeful design to make sure that drivers are keeping their eyes on the road and not just playing with the screen the whole time. And it also makes room for your phone, wallet, and keys underneath. All right, well, getting a little toasty in here. Could we turn on the AC? Or... Yeah, definitely. The dual zone automatic climate system allows you to control the temperature on one side of the car without affecting the other side. All right, well, that definitely amps up the level of comfort, especially on a car as affordable as this. Yeah, and speaking of comfort, adults of pretty much every size should be able to fit in the front of the car with average size adults being able to fit pretty comfortably in the back. I mean, for a compact car, you don't really feel all that compacted. And I really like these cup holders. I feel like they're pretty functional and fit most sizes of cups and bottles. For drivers looking for storage, the Civic has a large center console, door pocket storage bins on each door, and above average trunk space and storage capacity. And that's all thanks to its larger than expected trunk opening. Yeah, I don't usually expect this much storage space in a small car, but this is a pleasant surprise. Yeah. Plus it comes with Honda's standard safety features like automated emergency braking with pedestrian detection and adaptive cruise control with lane keeping assist. And if those safety features aren't enough, how does it hold up in a crash? It has a five star rating from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. And besides the crash test, what's the damage? The 2023 Honda Civic sedan is $23,750. The hatchback edition is just a thousand more than that. And you can get top of the line versions of each of those options for $26,750 and $27,900. There's a reason that the Civic has been the first car for many new drivers and that safety, affordability, and of course, reliability. Assuming you're gonna get the base model sedan with a four year loan and a 10% down payment, you can expect to pay around $510 a month for the base model. That doesn't include maintenance costs or car insurance. So that's why we've linked to the Jerry app in the description to help you find great rates on car insurance, auto refinancing, and estimates on maintenance and repairs. Great job. Thank you. Whether you want an affordable and reliable car for casual driving, or you just want a car that you can easily tune up, the Honda Civic is the car to get. Jerry. The all-car app that's got your back. Because we car. 